Thank you very much. Oh, joy to be here. Joy to be here in Sydney, friends. I grew up in Warrnambool in country Victoria where there's basically no public transport whatsoever. Now I live here in Sydney where it is worse than no public transport. Because it's public transport, you make plans involving public transport, you rock up to the bus stop and three hours later you realise there's no, there's no fucking public transport. I reckon the bus drivers are all just actors driving bus going, not today buddy, fuck you, woo! This is my theory, I think all these people we keep catching in boats off the coast of Christmas Island, I don't think they're people from another country, I think they're Sydney commuters trying to find a better way to get around, okay? It's not fishing boats out there, it's the manly ferry people. Why are we so mean to these people? We should be learning from these people. I can't get from home to the shops without taking three buses and a rickshaw. These people get on a fishing boat in Indonesia. That's further than zone three, right? That's like zone 50. And they reach their fucking destination. Same way like I the boats. That is a regular service, okay? They're not stopping for track works. That are closed over Easter. That's the solution to the problem. If you really want to stop the boats, don't get the military involved, just give the contract to City Rail, okay? They are... <laughs> yes! <laughs> they are the experts at making people not want to travel. Attention passengers, the 420 dinghy to Australia has been delayed. It's currently a 4,000 tonne naval vessel on the tracks pointing their guns at us. We've tried appealing to their common decency. They told us to fuck off. And, and suck a dick as well, we've been told to suck a dick. We tried chucking a few children overboard. Um, <laughs> and they shot the children. Uh, there will be a shuttle service. You need to get out and swim, good luck with that. <laughs> I didn't know how to finish that joke, I'll be honest with him. Do, uh, do love how we call them boat people, by the way. Boat people. Asylum seekers. Too many syllables, they're people on boats, they're boat people, fuck it. <laughs> we can't be bothered saying anything in Australia. We love the abreve, love the abreve. <laughs> on a Saturday, you might have a barbie, have a few bevos. They're all fine, I guess. Pedo is the one that stands out to me. <laughs> can we not be bothered saying pedophile? No other horrible crime is treated like, you know, like Ivan Milat, he got a bit murdy, didn't he? He's a bit full on, full on fucking murder, bro. I just think rape's lucky it's not a longer word. <laughs> Gee, what happened to Jess? That shit was Ray Ray, man, that was insane. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Why can't we let the, oh God, sorry, that's puberty there, sorry. <laughs> I just became a man. There we go. <laughs> Why can't we let the boat people in and help them out? That's what we did in the 70s, Vietnam War. Malcolm Fraser let the boat people in. You know how that turned out? Fucking delicious. Okay, yeah. Delicious. All right, that's my time, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you very much. <laughs>